we have a bucket demo bucket 002 and we have one sample file sample xml now we are going to see how we can apply some protection on our bucket or our object so just go to protections and here there are two options one is object versioning and one is a retention policy suppose we are using this bucket for a production purpose and we have two scenarios like suppose one scenario we are storing some configuration files in that bucket where we want to allow modification in the objects or like in a bucket files but we don't want it to delete permanently and we have another case where we are storing only the contractual documents which are not going to change for a year and we don't want them to be deleted so for both the purpose we can have this option so first we will see object versioning and how object versioning will work so currently the object versioning is off okay so let's delete this file now i will delete and we'll see if we can recover it okay the file is deleted let's go to deleted data oh nothing here okay so it means we deleted the file it got deleted permanently because there is no protection or object versioning enabled for this bucket now let me enable object versioning so i'll click on object versioning i'll click confirm so here object versioning is on now let's upload same file again and we'll try to delete that and see what will happen so i'll upload the same file again sample file okay so we'll see deleted data so nothing in the deleted data okay now i'll click and, and i'll delete it So file is deleted and now we want to see if we can restore that file or get back that file which is deleted it might be deleted mistakenly or we want to restore the previous version so just go to deleted data now so here you could see sample.xml deleted and having one version so let's go to this so currently there are no live objects so it's blank here all the objects are deleted and version history so it will show the one non-current object okay so i'll restore that i'll confirm okay now here there are two objects one is a live object which is available in the bucket and one is deleted like non-current version so go to bucket now and see if we got our file back yes we have our file back let's check what's inside the file so i'll open my file okay so this is the file and here i have just given the document name and this is my original file now let me modify this file and i want to upload again with the same name so let me do that so i'll just edit the file as this is my updated file and i'll upload again with the same name okay it will give me the warning i'll select the overwrite because it is having the same name okay now the file is uploaded so i just uploaded the same means like a file with the same name again and it got overwritten now suppose i want to use a previously or like previous version of my file so here you could see there are two non-current versions so let me open these files which is the current live version and let me see this is my updated file okay so let's like suppose this is a configuration file and 
we are used for any deployment or any production activity and now we want to roll back everything and we want our previous files back so how we can do that just go to non-current version okay so here you could see the first version was having say 238 byte and the current is having 237 okay and this is a live object so let me restore a previous file so I restored previous file now what happened this becomes a live version 238 becomes live version and the newly updated file is also not deleted it just added as a non-current version here okay means like there are three versions of the file now let's go to bucket and we'll see if file got restored so let me open the file let's see it will show it's my original file This is my original file so we got our original file back so in this way we can use object or object versioning where we can allow modification of the file but we can always store a original data or a maintain a versioning for the data so that's it for object versioning now we are going to see about a protection or like a retention policy so we can protect our data using a retention policy as well but always remember we cannot use object versioning and retention policy both at the same time here currently the object versioning is on so it's not giving me option to set a retention policy and it's giving me the message that object versioning and retention policies cannot be on at the same time so i'll just disable object versioning and I'll set a retention policy okay so to set so I'll set a retention policy means here we can give like suppose I have some contractual document which I want to store for one year and that's not going to change for a complete year and I don't want any modification in that document so I will keep a retention policy for one year and we cannot delete that file for a one year so for this demo i am just giving the duration as like suppose 10 seconds or like suppose a 15 seconds only and we'll see how it works so i clicked on save and we save the retention policy as a 15. now let me upload one more file so we'll upload a demo txt file demo txt file here okay so file uploaded and let me try to delete it immediately within the 10 second so i am trying to delete that and it gave me the error so let's see what is the error so the retention policy did not met and what is the error object demo txt is subject to bucket retention policy and cannot be deleted or written or archived until what is the time three ten zero seven okay so let's go to browser again go to our bucket again now we'll try to delete again we assume like 10 seconds have crossed now and i'll try to delete that file okay so file got deleted now so in this way we can set a retention period so here we can set the retention period so in this way we can set a retention period for a required amount of time for this video only i set it as a 15 second but as per our purpose or requirement we can set a retention period whatever we want so let's go back to the browser 
and i'll show you so this demo bucket 001 i have created previously and i have set a retention period for a two days okay now suppose i want to delete demo txt from this bucket i won't able to delete that okay cannot be deleted and it gives me the same error that retention policy not met now i'll go to bucket 002 again and here you could see unlocked means like retention policy is unlocked it means we can delete or reduce the duration for retention policy so i'll go i'll for 15 second i'll reduce it to 5 second and i can save and i can delete also this retention policy so here i can have option to delete a retention policy okay i didn't lock it yet so let me check in this another bucket here I kept the retention policy for two days and here I lock the retention policy. So if I go to retention policy, it is locked. I cannot delete retention policy. And second thing, I cannot reduce the retention period. I mean, suppose from two days I can make it to five days. There is no issue. But if I want to make it as a one day, a locked retention policy can't be removed or reduced in duration means if it is locked you can't do anything until that retention period okay so suppose now i want to delete both this bucket so it will give me error for bucket 001 because retention period is two days and it's locked So deleting two bucket one of two buckets could not be deleted let's see here you can see the message bucket 002 success object deleted for bucket 001 failed because it's cannot be deleted due to a retention policy so in this way you can provide protection to your cloud storage bucket